In Tel Aviv tonight, streets thronged with the demand for every Israeli hostage to be brought home from Gaza. This gathering was called 50 Days of Hell. And a second group of Israeli hostages reaching the Gaza border, delayed by Hamas for hours, but now on the way to freedom. Racing into his father's arms, Ohad, who was released yesterday, followed by his mother, Karen, and his grandmother, Ruti, three generations who were held hostage. Ruti's husband still is. As Ohad caught up with friends, his family said Israel must free every last hostage. This was a belated birthday party. He turned nine in captivity. Shalom. And crowded onto one bed, the Ashers. Did you miss me? Yoni asks. Did you think about daddy? I dreamt about going home says Raz, who's four. Your dream came true, he says. We're going home soon. Raz was held with her mother, Doron, and baby sister, Aviv. In Gaza, it's time to count the cost of weeks of Israeli bombardment. The ceasefire means Palestinians have been able to return to Jabalia in the north, the largest camp in Gaza, or what's left of it. We are unarmed, says Mahmoud Massoud. We are civilians, we don't carry weapons and we don't resist. Why have they destroyed our houses? Why are they killing our children? Footage has now emerged on social media of an Israeli officer in Gaza taking a different view of the destruction. I dedicate this explosion to my princess, Ella, he says. Today she's two. Then he blows up a building. The Israeli army has confirmed to the BBC that these are its troops in Gaza. Orla Giron, BBC News, Tel Aviv.